Hey there, my name is Provis. Welcome back to more Last Train Home. We had a couple of fun events in the last run. Penza stole ourselves some extra stuff for the train. We actually took down a Red Army factory, which is great. And I did take a look at the larger map and where we're going with Samara over here. Holy crud, this game is going to be long. Um, I'm going to have to pick up the pace by, like, a lot. So do not be surprised if you start seeing less and less of these scavenging opportunities. As we start moving toward more and more of the tactical stuff, I know this is kind of fun for some people, but I'm not kidding when I say that this game appears to be a very, very long game, and I do not want this turning into a 30-episode series. <laughs> so for now, let's go scavenge what I can, assume that I'm going to be taking advantage of almost everything that I'm able to find, and I will let you know when some crazy stuff begins. In the meantime, let's go over to the train and go for a couple of little upgrades. So for example, over here, I do think it might be worth getting the security precautions. So we have less opportunities for work accidents. So let's go ahead and assign a bunch of workers over here to do this. And get this sucker upgraded as quick as we can. Little things like this are going to be helpful. I'd also like to go to the workshop car. And I am going to say let's go for an upgrade. Specifically the comfortable boots. Does take 300 cloth. Which is a lot. But I've also got 900 of it. And it's going to boost up the speed of my squads by 25%. That is going to make my stealth so much easier. So I figure it's worth a shot. Let's see, we're gonna pop into a little town here. Two boys jump out of the bushes and block the path. They're holding branches carved like rifles. Uh, okay. <laughs> oh, don't shoot, we come in peace. Father told us how evil you legionaries are. Um, okay. Well, I say we give them a tiny bit of food, and that'll prove that they're wrong. Okay, the boys are stunned. They eat everything and talk about village life. Morale goes up. I'd say that was well worth only two food. Not a big deal. I wonder if I'm supposed to, like, keep track of all the prices of these things. You know, like, ammo and stuff like that. I assume it changes depending on where we are. Like, the caviar here is more expensive than I remember in other places. It'd be nice if there was something kind of built into this to say, hey, this is kind of what the average price is, so I don't have to, like, write things down. You know what I mean? And we have found another obstruction. Okay. Well, a large tree has fallen. This is an opportunity to get a bunch of free lumber, actually. So we're going to have to stop the train. The good news is we should not have too much threat. In fact, we have none. Even better. So we'll go ahead and send some people over here and maybe even go for a quick upgrade on the train. Maybe boost up the train inventory a bit more. Sure, we're kind of running on a little bit low uh, inventory space. That's fine. Could also consider just getting that extra living space so I can move people in here and just get them the extra regen. It's very expensive for not a ton of gain on just four soldiers, I guess. Also could get started on things like the insulation. We don't need this yet, but just increasing the temperature might be a good thing to do before we get to a colder area. Hmm, I don't know. I think for now, maybe it is still better to go with the living spaces, but we are going to want to do this soon, for sure. Found a fair bit more metal, fuel, food, and some money. We're kind of keeping even on money right now. Obviously, the larger our crew goes, uh, you know, the more food we're going to start consuming, and that would be a bit of a problem. All right, report is ready. We were able to remove the obstruction. Somebody got hurt. Not injured, though, and that's what matters. Perfect. And now everybody is existing in these two cars. So these are as upgraded as they can be in terms of comfort and space. So this car is empty, which is one of the reasons I would be fine with selling it if I felt confident I was not going to be getting more crew members in the near-ish future. And a beggar has stopped us. Great danger awaits on your journey ahead. A surprisingly strong voice comes from a beggar. He is pointing you with a skinny hand, unexpectedly bright eyes, staring. Uh, okay, we will listen to his warning. The Reds are hardly any trouble compared to the predicament of the Dark Force and its secrets, and she, she is right in your path. What is this, Baba Yaga? Aren't you the homeless one? The whole country is my home, your fool. Where's your home? Eh, he's got a fair point. He just made us all upset. We will give him some food. It's just a couple. Let's see what happens. Launches into a story. Oh, yep, it's Baba Yaga. Man, this game is obsessed with Baba Yaga. People talk about her all the dang time. Did we just pay to hear a nursery rhyme? Yes, I think we did. Well, good news, it was only two food, so I don't feel that bad about it. And we have almost reached Samara, Samara, however you're supposed to say that. Does not look like there's supposed to be a combat incident here, so that's good. However, there is a messenger awaiting us. All right, very well. Let's see. This will move on to the next region. Never mind. Hold on. Let's go to the depot first. Okay, so they also have some cars available for sale. Another workshop. Don't need. Hospital car. God, I want it. Funny thing. If I got rid of my infantry car, we could get this. Oh, I barely don't have enough. You're kidding me. Well, that sucks, and you don't even buy and sell anything else. I am only missing 24 money. Oh, for frick's sake. Oh, wait. Hang on. There's a merchant. 
Well, we could actually do this. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Do I want it that badly, though? Like, really, do I actually want it that badly? So far, we've done pretty good just not getting people injured. So as much as I do want a hospital car at some point, when do I need it? God, this is where I wish I had like a, a, little, a little magic eight ball that would tell me yes or no. I think I'd rather hold off. I know I'm not using the infantry car at all. However, we might need it because we were specifically told there will be legionaries along this route that we might be able to rescue. And I'd hate to turn them away. Also, it's not like I don't have space on the train for another car. We could do that. All I'm lacking is money. So if I can get to a point where I have a lot of extra cash, I will absolutely buy the hospital car. In the meantime, I'm just loath to get rid of this if I don't have to. So, what's going on with the whole messenger thing? I am curious. All right, beautiful city of theater and art, a former fortress of anti-Bolsheviks until the Red conquered it. Of course, I did a messenger and a diplomat for the Legion. Hey, Bozina. Uh, did you get an order to retreat? Good to see you too. Yes. Okay, so see, we already got a new soldier. This is what I'm talking about. Yes, welcome, sister. A cook and a doctor. All right, welcome aboard. I should have asked what's the situation, but I, I couldn't leave you behind, so there we go. I guess we aren't going to know what the situation is. The inexperience of our commanding officer soon became apparent. The morale of the unit suffered. Captain Langer is saying that I suck at my job. Everyone's got really high morale. Everything's looking great. What are you talking about? Yeah, frick you, Captain Langer. How dare you throw me under the bus like that? All right, end of chapter two. Oh, I already thought we—I thought we already ended chapter two. Apparently not. All right, this is the end of chapter two. You see how little progress we've made on the overall map? This is what I'm talking about. This is a long freaking series. Oh, and also a live-action cutscene. I like that they added these into the game. I think they look pretty good. Okay, we get a thin stack of papers from Langer. Sense of urgency in his eyes. Put together as much information as where we could find our remaining soldiers, or at least where to start. We have three places to check, and none of them holds much promise of finding anyone. All right, so we may have just found a few more quests. We did. There's one legionary waiting in Oxov Novo. I don't know. See if you can pick up any legionaries in... Burdyaush, try Zlatost, and also check Mias for Legionnaires. So there's three locations. It's a good thing I kept that car then, because I think that there is a strong chance we're going to need all these folks. Well, maybe. I mean, the more people I pick up, the more I have to, like, feed, right? But I've also been specifically told we don't leave anyone behind, and I'm taking that to heart, dang it. You know, there are a lot of opportunities for trade, but to be honest, I don't feel like I'm getting anywhere near enough goods to justify doing a lot of trading. It just doesn't seem that great, right? Hey, by the way, did we finish with the... Wait, where's my workshop? There it is. Did we finish with the project? It sure looks like we did. Oh, good. Okay, so we have our comfortable boots. Cool. I could also work on the winter uniforms, which is something I absolutely am going to want. Not absolutely required I do that right now, though. Uh, reduce the time to aim of sniper rifles. Make my scouts fire off faster. That seems smart. And another blockage. Gosh dang it. All right, fine. We'll have to get rid of another one of these tracks. I don't care if someone gets lightly injured, though. We recover very quickly, and this I just consider this to be a free timber event, okay? Uh, there could be worse things out there. All right, check the forest. What do you find? Nothing. What else? Anything? That, we get some food, and we get a little bit of herbs. I still actually have no idea what to do with herbs. I'm guessing that's something we could have researched if I had gotten the kitchen train. That would make sense. The big issue is whenever we have to stop like that, my threat goes way up. So we've got to be really quick on our feet. Make sure that whenever we have too much th threat, we just move, even if it's just a little bit. It's enough to throw the Reds off our trail. Oh, good. And we also explored a village, and a wild boar rushed out and injured one of my folks really badly. Boar are not something to be messed with. Seriously, those, those pigs are freaking nasty. They can absolutely kill people. My soldiers bring a villager before me. His clothes, now ragged, are of high quality, and his broken voice carries an edge of authority. A private matter you want to discuss. Very well. What do you have to say? The Reds slaughtered your family. You barely escaped with your life. As the wealthiest farmers in the area were the Reds' first port of all to speak. Fair enough. They would, after all, go for the wealthy. Bourgeois. The villager's situation is very unfortunate. You have no hope of helping them. So what do you need, then? If you sneak through the village, you can reach our family's land... Our mansion has probably been looted, but there's hope the Reds didn't find everything. Okay. There's a hidden room in the basement. You can take whatever you find, but you must destroy all documents. Why? My father, father the great general, Artem Vasilyev, supported the revolution. The Reds who came didn't know this. Even though we were shooting our family, he was shouting their slogans. Okay. My father bequeathed the land to the Bolsheviks. Ah! You don't want the Bolsheviks to have a right to the land, technically. Not that they're going to care. Let's be honest. They're Soviets. They're going to take it anyway. 
But, I mean, I don't mind denying them some sort of legal justification just to screw with them. That'd be fine. So let's go ahead and deploy. Eight more energy, good chance of some XP, some very basic rewards. Shouldn't be that difficult. Let's go ahead and start the mission. Okay, so it seems like our objective is to get to the village on the other side of a river. Not this one, there's another one. But it's crawling with reds. This needs to be a mostly stealth mission, it would seem. See one enemy on his way here. I want to try something. I got a new skill for my scout Maximilian over here. We should have a critical shot sniping ability. So if he gets close, can I just shoot him one shot, one kill? Boom! Oh, wow! Hey, this is going to open up some serious options as far as clearing things out. Uh, I'm supposed to avoid fighting here as much as possible, but when you tempt me with all this loot, fuel, metal, cloth, I need all of it. Yeah, I'm not supposed to go this way, but I don't even care. I'm going to kill him. There we go. See? Easy. Just a little bit of stealth, a little ingenuity, a little patience. You get all sorts of extra rewards. That was a lot of cloth, too. Looks like this villager also will open up a door for us with even more loot. Grenades, ammo. Oh, it's a treasure trove. And this is why you help the villagers. It's also why you don't just run to your objective. I've played enough RPGs to understand how this works. Explore every nook and cranny. If you feel like the developers might have hid something in a corner, they probably have. And I like loot. Let there be no doubt about that. I like lots of loot. Uh, this village is crawling with reds. I'm supposed to avoid this area entirely, but like, look at all the loot. <laughs> don't worry, I can handle it. I, I can get around, I can get around all these patrol patterns and stuff. I've played enough stealth games. I know how to do this. We'll get it. There we go. Now I could clear out the rest of these guys, but why bother? We've got all the loot. That's all that mattered. Let's move on to our objective. Good thing these tall fields are here. Makes it very easy to move around in this. And there we go. All right, we have reached the villa. And that should be everything, actually. Nice. What do we find out, I wonder? Well, we didn't fire a single shot, so I got a lot of free goodies. I mean, that's something. And we are now going to look for the false wall. Okay, quite an empty basement. Ba -ba 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 -ba. We enter a secret room, search for anything of value. There's a lot of different possessions. Not usually very much. Testament of Artem Vasiliev. Okay. Notices something. There's a signet ring. Sure, let's read the will real quick. I want to see what's going on. The story is only half true. The entire state is indeed left to the Red Army. But there's no sign Vitaly is the heir at all. He specifically mentions his daughters. Never said he even has a son. Interesting. Well, I guess I'll burn the house in the will, but this guy's clearly trying to scam his way into taking a villa. Which, like, that's exceedingly scummy, obviously. But... It's not going to amount to much, because um, once the Soviets have taken over here, there's really not going to be much for you to take anyway, I promise. Anyway, another successful mission. Oh, I thought we were going to stop here. We did not. Hold on. Pause the train. Wait, there's supposedly somebody here. Uh, we've already pa We have passed it. Hello? Wait, what do you mean I have... Hello? Gosh dang it. The game has saved in a way where I can't get in here. It's saying I can't do anything. What? 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 Train is stopping. The train just didn't stop for some reason. All right, I had to reload my game, and now it's working. Okay. The train arrives. A legionary steps out. Finally. I was looking forward to seeing this train. All right. Storyteller, huh? Um, let's enjoy the moment of calm, I suppose. Sure. Told the story of a man whose life started in the Czech lands, and he ended up in the Great Siberian Route. Uh-huh. Da-da-da-da-da. Reality wasn't cheerful. Master Cooper was cheap and made him work like a horse. Persuaded him to believe and became a saddler like he originally wanted. He ended up in Austria. How very fun. What incredible stories that probably have nothing to do with this exact game, but probably derived from the original story that a lot of this game is derived from. Kind of cool. Anyway, he gave me a sniper rifle and some and some bullets. All right, we got another we got another sniper. I like that. Oh, he gave me a really good sniper rifle. Ooh, it's got longer range. Now that could be useful. We arrive at another train station. A nervous looking man stops my soldiers. Uh, he wants to talk to the commanding officer. Your legionaries, yes, Slavs, as we are. Slovaks, you command this train, yes? Um, I have something you can use, a weapon. Uh, what is the weapon exactly? Let's see, a long rifle with an optic, okay? So we have some sort of a special sniper rifle, I'm guessing. Did you steal this? Why would you care, as long as it saves your life? Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. 800, good lord! I don't know if I want to... I'll give you 800. Okay, uh, I would have given you, I would have expected you guys not to rip me off. We're all Slavs, we're all struggle, take care, get yourselves home. 
Okay, so we got a cheap tier three rifle. Okay, that was a pretty good deal, it turns out. That was a really good deal. I'm not unhappy about that. Why would I have paid him more, I wonder? Was there any sort of a reason to do something like that? And at the next train stop, one of my soldiers is stopping me. Deus Volt. Ooh, I like where this is going. Uh, nothing indicates you're a religious man, but please listen. A local priest has given a letter. A friend of yours is in trouble. Uh, okay, so looks like the Red Army has done something else. In a move that breaches military protocol, he is begging me to help him. I don't mind, especially if there's loot. Getting a little bit full on space, by the way. I may need to go to the storage car and go for another upgrade. I feel like it's a good problem to have, right? Lots of extra inventory space is a very good thing. I'll take it. And now we have to decide if I'm going to go for this mission. Squad size recommended. 10. Very dangerous, huh? <laughs> oh, I like where this is going. All right, we're going to give this one a go. Let's pull up my usual team. Three scouts, three riflemen, two machine gunners, a medic, and a grenadier. I feel like this is the optimal layout for most things. You don't need too many medics or grenadiers, but the rest of these are all very useful, especially for stealth. The funny thing is I actually can't even stay put for too long while they work on this mission. I've got to go ahead and start moving, like, over here or something. Keep that threat low, man. All right, the dominant feature of the village is a beautiful church. Its golden domes can be seen for miles, and indeed... There are some reds. The soldiers are nervous. Only those of faith are certain the importance of the mission. The others don't even want to risk their lives. I'm proceeding anyway, all right? Loot. Hmm, strange. No sign of enemies, but I found a key and a whole bunch of supplies that are just sitting out here. Which makes me suspicious that this is a trap. Whoops, hold on, there's an enemy patrol. Finally, some enemies show up. Okay, we'll just get into the crops over here. Totally fine, very stealthy. We should be able to take these guys out depending on how large the group is. Let's get some omniscience. There we go, what is this thing? Uh, there's a dog? Okay, there is a dog, and it's got very long range. I wonder if it can smell me in the, uh, the fields. That would be a problem. Oh, crap, I only realized we only have hundred, uh, 1 minute and 20 seconds to intervene in whatever's about to happen over here. Oh, shoot. That's not a lot of time to react. Only hope, throw a rock in a direction that's going to draw their attention so I can get in here, because otherwise this guy will be able to detect me. So let's see if I can make something happen there. Throw the rock. Okay. And you detected me because these people walked all where I did not tell them to go, so that's hilarious. Tell you what, what happens if I throw a grenade amongst them right now? As long as it doesn't hit the priest, right? Grenade! Throw a grenade! 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 Seriously, throw a grenade. And... Boom! That'll work! <laughs> Alright, weapons free, boys. Get him. Got him. Alright, the priest at least is okay. Um, you guys are going to need to get the heck out of dodge quick while you can. They're almost ready to detect you. They did detect you. Right, can I get somewhere else and hide? As long as the priest is alive, I don't think we need to worry. Can I just get into some of this tall grass over here? Probably. There we go. We're hiding in a corner. No one suspects a thing. Okay, and we are in the storeroom, which means lots of free stuff for me. It's like Christmas. See, aren't you guys glad we went to help the church now? Blessings be unto God. Or from God, whatever. There we go. Now I've got eyes in the sky, and I know that we are completely safe. Though there are some enemies over here burning something. Hopefully that's not someone. Yep, it's someone. You guys are awful. All right, let's talk to the priest. The Reds took a piece of the true cross and threatened to kill us if we did not renounce our faith. Please retrieve the relic from their camp. Uh, a piece of the cross, huh? The Holy Rood? I believe that actually is the word for it, by the way. R-O-O-D. I seem to remember that from a long time ago. I read a book where that was like one of the themes, was finding a piece of the cross. Anyway, um, I see stuff at the church. Can I have it? Thank you. Ah, there's people here. Run! Never mind. Change your mind. Change your mind. All according to plan. Stab, stab, stab. There we go. Right on the grounds of the church, too. Oh, that feels bad. Come on, guys. I want you to go over here to the explosive barrel. All of you notice the exp except for you, apparently. You're the one, guy, the one guy who's too stupid to notice. No, come on. Go to the explosive barrel. I'm sure nothing weird is going to happen over there at all. Oh, man. Another rock's about to pop over here. Boom. What was that? What could that have possibly been? Yes, yes. Get over there. Get over there, you fool. You get over there. Okay, hang on. Turn off silent mood. Shoot barrel. Boom. Come on. Boom. Oh, well, that felt good. Okay, so what's this about a piece of the Holy Cross? There it is. 
Heavy enough to hold the weight of our sins. Ah, uh, yes. A Christian joke. I like it. Oh, frick me. And of course, here comes a huge patrol of enemies. Right. Might have to drop the cross for a brief moment and set up an ambush, honestly. Well, I mean, if they're gonna stay right here in the dang bushes next to me, I mean... <laughs> this is a really awkward... Oh, we're about to fight. We're about to get... Oh, no. Shoot them all! Shoot them all! Quickly, shoot them all! Oh, my God! Shoot them all! For God's sake, shoot them all! <laughs> <laughs> All right, my medic got injured. Uh, that's not good. Well, I'll let her treat herself real quick just to get her health back up. But, um, yeah, I don't know why they ran right here. Of all places they could have gone, that was a weird one to go to. It's fine, it's fine. We'll just drop off a piece of the cross. There we go. The Reds have set out to destroy your pilgrimage site. I mean, it's not much to look at now, is it? Protect the granary, the house, and the church. Oh, gosh. Man, and here I thought we were about done. We're gonna get attacked from three different directions, huh? All right, tell you what, we're going to split our people up into three separate squads and try to find a stealthy defensive position around each point. And then we will see what we can do. All right, and here they come, apparently. All right, so three enemies up over here, three more there. I assume we'll see some more come through here. With any luck, they run next to explosive barrels, like this one right here. Shoot it. Come on. Boom! Okay, perfect. Take this person down. Nice. Look at that. One medic just saved the mayor's house. Beautimus. Okay, these guys are in a nice box. Hopefully that takes them out quick. Shoot him, shoot him, shoot him. Good lord. Get him, get him. Oh god, they brought in a truck. Right. That was unexpected. Um, we need to reposition and fast. I'm not really sure why these guys are refusing to disembark from the truck, but I'm not going to complain. Perfect opportunity to toss a grenade right on top of them. Well, even better if there are going to be more of them running in. Go boom! Whoa, that was extra collateral I wasn't expecting. And that should do it. All right, squad members in the area. That looks like everybody. Took a couple injuries there. Overall, not that bad, though. I mean, at the end of the day, Alzbieta over here should be able to heal in the car. And once it gets above 80%, this condition goes away. So we don't need a hospital car to deal with it. And I'd say that was pretty darn successful. Lots of XP to go around. Not to mention, lots of loot. More bullets than I spent. That's always a good sign. The village is silent once again now that the fighting has stopped. The priest comes to you clasping a golden cross tightly, says a silent prayer, and then hands you the golden cross. Most valuable thing we own. Oh, okay. Right, Deus Volt is done. I get a thousand gold. Nifty. All right, well, I need to get myself in position over here to uh, bring back my squadron. I think they're actually already on the way, though the fact that they're injured is going to slow things down significantly. I'd like to move these guys here, but I can't. Since we have an injury, we can't go to the forest with them. Gosh dang it, another obstruction. Freaking heck, these things are all over the gosh dang place. Who's not clearing the tracks of fallen trees? I mean, I, I, there is a civil war, so admittedly there may not be a clear governing force. I get it, but still, come on, guys. Well, tell you what, I'm going to go ahead and get a little bit of insulation in some of these cars. We've got some time on our hands. I've got loads of cloth. I feel like we might as well do this. And we immediately follow on with a work injury, but it gave me no text. I uh, don't know how that just happened. So we're going to stop at another location here, which I think is going to have some more legionaries. Let's find out. Arriving at the village, our soldiers are met with warm welcome. Okay, soldiers found out there's a small group of legionaries in a local doctor's house. Cool. Um, somebody who is pragmatic. Hope we won't have to carry them to train. Don't worry if they manage to make so many friends in the village. I bet the condition is not that serious. Dear God, I got startled seeing soldiers, but it's you, brothers. Ha ha ha. Please come on in. Blah, 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 blah. We're going home. The injured cheered, but the doctor started to frown. He got up, shook the soldiers' hands, and immediately informed them of the situation. Their injuries are not life-threatening, but I don't have enough medical supplies to treat them effectively. Give them the medical supplies. I'm okay with that. And that means that we should have healthy soldiers joining our crew. Good. Oh boy, we got four more soldiers. See, it's a good thing I kept the third passenger car, or we'd have to say you guys are sleeping on the roof. And here comes a whole bunch more bullets and guns to go along with them. Excellent. Oh my gosh, we just got 500 wood? All right, yeah, we went, to the, we went to the woods. We didn't chop the wood ourselves. We just happened to find a warehouse full of fine-aged wood. We just stole somebody's life's work, practically. That is amazing, but I do not regret anything. And we have too many items. Oh, good lord. All right. Um, uh, ooh, eesh. Uh, oh, ah. Uh, um, we can take only 450 of that wood. 
Honestly, I think I just could have to live with that. I, I, I might be able to get rid of a bunch of the herbs instead. We could do that, so let's focus on getting these instead. Then we fill as many as we can. We leave behind 198 herbs. That's that's too much. I'm sorry. We'll, we'll split the difference a little bit. Leave behind some herbs, take a little bit of extra wood and stuff. I don't know. I feel like I'm using this for upgrades. I still don't really know what to do with herbs yet. So, I mean, until we at least, at least until we are able to get ourselves a, uh, a chef's train car, but that's not going to happen anytime soon. So, okay, we'll have to confirm that um, and destroy the rest of the items, and that sucks, but such is the way of things. Go, go, go. All aboard number three. All right, we have looked for some more soldiers in a pub, and it looks like we found some skeptical soldiers. All right, um, they're arguing. Let's see, idealists versus skeptics versus just loud people. Oh, good, they're like Americans. Got it. Uh, let's see, this communist here is misinterpreting your beliefs, saying we are nationalists because we hate Austria-Hungary. Hey, would you like to go home? I don't know if we want to take them home. They just seem to be arguing all the time. No, would the, would the communists like to join? Yeah, communists, come join us. I, I know, I, yeah, dude, uh, we're still check at the end of the day. Come on home and you can have your political debates. We're a new fledgling republic. You can try to do whatever you want. I'm hoping you lose, but whatever. Oh, no! We actually still don't have enough space. Hold on. Really? Uh... Uh-oh. No. Wait, 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 wait. Can I... Can I... Can I... Hang on. Ah, reloading the game it just cost me all of that extra lumber. That sucks. Oh, well. Guess it is random. Not gonna be a guarantee. Oh, I liked the 500 lumber. I thought that was going to be good. But no, I, what I did is I reloaded my save game so I could try to build out a new uh, car and increase my living space. Look, I'm trying not to leave anyone behind, gosh dang it. And I wasn't expecting that to happen. Well, I hope you guys are happy. I just traded away a lot of riches to save your lives. Now we're ready to move on to Chelyabinsk. And there is a mission in here. Oh, lordy. Okay, um, well, I actually think this might be a good place for us to go ahead and end things here. I know this might be a slightly shorter video, but I don't know how long this mission is going to take, so we're going to go ahead and kick things off with this in the next video and move on. I think we're, what, stage four out of, I don't know, like 14 or something like that at this point? So we're going to start picking up the pace from here on out. Be prepared to skip a lot more of these little things over here. I'll try to give you as much flavor as is necessary to appreciate the game, and we'll focus a bit more on the missions and some of the decisions I make strategically along the way to build out my train and uh, kind of develop my team. In the meantime, though, thank you all very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If so, I would ask you to hit that like button, leave a comment, subscribe, make sure you hit that notify bell, and I will see you guys next time.